Hello everyone. Hello everyone and welcome to Jam. Today I'm going to be reading a story from Luke chapter 12 verse 16 to 21 and it's called The Story of the Rich Farmer. However, I'm going to be reading Mick Inkpen's version from Stories Jesus Told. And if so, I shall begin. Here is a farmer who is very rich. The farmer is rich because his soil is rich and his corn grows fast, faster than anyone else's and higher than anyone else's. And at harvest time, he has much more of it than anyone else. A lucky man. This year, he has so much corn that his old barn can't hold it all. It is bursting at the seams. No problem, says the farmer. I will pull it down and build a bigger one. Then, next year, I will be rich enough to take life easy. So, he builds a bigger barn. But when harvest comes around again, the new barn is not big enough. The greedy farmer has planted more corn than before. Oh, and carrots too. No problem, says the farmer. I will build an even bigger, better barn. Then, next year, I will be richer still, and then I can really enjoy myself. So, he builds a bigger, better barn. But at harvest time, even the bigger, better barn is not big enough. Again, the farmer has planted too much corn, too many carrots, and a few cabbages as well. This time, the farmer says to himself, I will build the biggest, grandest barn the world has ever seen. And then I shall be so rich, I need never work again. The barn he builds reaches up to the sky. When it is finished, the farmer sighs a great big sigh. <sighs> Tomorrow I will gather in the harvest and then at last I shall begin to enjoy myself. I know, I'll have a party. But that very night he dies in his sleep, just like that. The birds eat his corn, the rabbits dig up his carrots and his cabbages go to seed. The big barn stands empty. And the rich farmer never does get to enjoy his money. Poor man. Jesus says, how silly it is for a man to spend his whole life storing up riches for himself. To God, he is really a poor man. The end. Now, Jesus used to use parables or stories like that one to help people understand something. He used them often. And I think the message here really follows on from last week's message about not worrying about the future. So last week we learned that God doesn't want us to worry about the future because he's in control of that. And so we can trust him to do his best for us. But here there's, an even, there's another message as well. We don't need to worry and store up things for ourselves because we're worried we won't have enough tomorrow or the next day. But also he's saying it's better to share and enjoy things now as you've got them. So that man with all his harvest, all his corn and his carrots and cabbages, he could have had a party the first year and shared with his friends and celebrated what a good harvest God had given him. But instead he chose to store them all. And I think that's a really tricky message and quite a challenge for us in this country because actually, compared to the rest of the world, we are quite rich. If you have a pair of shoes and a roof over your head, you are among the richest people in the world. Did you know that?
And I'm guessing that most of you definitely have a pair of shoes and you definitely have a roof over your head. And if you have a car or a bicycle, that boosts you up to being even richer still. You're probably in the top 10% of the richest people in the world. And that's hard for us to understand in this country because this country as a whole is so rich. We may look at other people and think, but they're richer than me. And there will be other people who are richer than us, but God's saying, don't do that. God's saying, enjoy what you have. There may be lots of things you don't have, but don't focus on that. Enjoy what you do have. If that man the first year thought, but I don't have any carrots, I've only got corn. He didn't get to enjoy and celebrate all that he did have. And, and the challenge for us, especially at this time, when some people don't have very much, is to be willing to share what we do have. That's an interesting thought to leave us with. So I'm going to say a prayer because I think that's quite tricky. So I'm going to say a prayer for us all. Heavenly Father, I thank you for all the good gifts that you have given us. Help us to realise how much we have and to remember to say thank you to you who ultimately provided. Just like that man had rich soil that you provided for him. You provide everything that we have. Every good thing comes from you. Help us to remember that. And help us to enjoy what we have now and to be kind and thoughtful to others and share where we can. In your name. Amen. Okay, I hope you have a great week. Uh, we have got just three more weeks to go now. So I will see you again next week for another video. Um, and then hopefully in three weeks time I'll see you in person. Bye.